what is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day here at River Landings Motor Coach Resort, the most exclusive RV resort I have ever been to. Ladies and gentlemen, we found Rick Smith. How you doing today, Hi, sir? Hi, Andrew. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Great to see you again. So what are we looking at here? Well, this is our newly completed Hemiway model on lot 42. This one is probably one of the most unique models that we've put up. We did all Lutron lighting in this model, and we took a little bit of a different approach with this one. We're really, really excited to have this one on the market. What are some of the other unique things about River Landing Motor Coach Resort, and what makes you the most exclusive motor coach resort in the country? Well, I think what really makes us exclusive, number one, is, is the coach house size, you know, and the way that it lays out, and the fact that you can have your own pool and your own privacy. I think also the, the coach covers, the coach covers were something that uh, we designed. Uh, we designed it again, if you'll notice, that they're all more or less cantilevered, one-sided, so we don't have a lot of posts blocking your view. Um, the fact that we're small, we're only 64 lots, all waterfront. The fact that we have our own little private marina, our private island. And, I, and again, I think the uh, toy barn up front for all your needs. You pretty much have everything right here, including a state-of-the-art clubhouse and bar. So you don't have to go anywhere. So we have it all right here, and that's what makes it what makes it nice is the fact that I think the small exclusivity of it people really enjoy. We produce our own water and we do our own wastewater treatment here. So our water system, you know, we designed it specifically so that it was a, a whole house reverse osmosis system. So we filter it and we store it and uh, we treat it so that it's the best drinking water when it comes out of your house where you don't need extra filtration. And so that really, really is unique. We took a lot of time to learn about water. So those are a couple things that are really unique here to River Landings. And the water and the sewer, of course, are all in your HOA due, so you don't have separate bills. I heard this is the first year you're doing rentals here at River Landings? Yes, we're doing a rental program for people to come in so that they can experience what we have here. So if you go to our website, there'll be vacation rental spot on there. You can go there and look at individual lots we have available for rent. We also have our one of our models, the Pilar model, is also available to rent. Oh, really? Yes, that gives you flexibility if you're traveling with somebody, is you know a mother-in-law, father-in-law, a couple. You know, you can have that separation factor. Uh, but yeah, first year for rentals, we're excited to have people come in now. The clubhouse is finished, and people can come in and enjoy. We're excited to have you come down. So this is a model and it's already, it's available for sale right this, now? This model is available, won't last long, better come get it. Yes sir, yes sir. So <laughs> is that a hot tub or a pool back there? Yeah, we call them spools. Okay. Because they're a combination of a hot tub and a pool and they're all salt water. So you can heat that up to 100 degrees and get in it if you'd like. And that's what makes it really cool. And the nice thing about this is your view down the lake. All of our lots are waterfront anyway but this particular view down the lake is, is unsurpassed, especially at night. It is really, really cool. This is like a high-end home in here, and uh, Rick and I have done some previous videos where he showed off these doors that, this is one of my favorite features here at River Landings, uh, the way the indoor and the outdoor living areas really become one. Rick, is that something exclusive to you guys? I've never seen that anywhere else. I don't know that it's exclusive to us, um, but I can tell you that the engineering and the design behind it was for us specifically. To have this cantilever edge that you have here um, suspended from the top rather than from the bottom, what I didn't want was a lot of columns blocking your views. So if you take a look around, our screen cages, everything has wide open spaces to it. And that's kind of the basis behind this is that you don't have these columns sitting everywhere. So it really makes it, like you said, you take the outdoor living 
to the outside, or the indoor living to the outside. I'm seeing all kinds of cool stuff inside of this. Oh, is this a casita or a coach house, or what would you refer to this as? You know, I think everybody has their own opinion of what it is, right? So we call them coach houses. Some people might call them casitas, depending on where you're at, but we refer to them as coach houses. And uh, this particular unit does have some unique features in it as far as uh, the lighting. We did a Lutron system in here that is just gives you a whole different feel when you're in here. The light is brighter than a normal light, plus you can adjust it real easy. And it's on, a, on its own independent switch, so you can have it light in one area, dark in another area, however you feel, whatever your mood is. And can you connect that to an app on your phone? Yes, you can connect it. You can connect your pool to your phone. So everything here is designed to work off your phone. So let's say you're coming down and you get to Tampa and you say, you know what, we're gonna go ahead in tonight. Um, you want to get in the hot tub when we get there? So you can actually go onto your phone, dial into the house, you can raise the shutters, you can turn on the pool. So when you roll in, your lights are on, your pool's on, you come right in and relax. Nice, nice. Yeah. And that's the nice flexibility about having that. How many square feet is this coach house? Sure. Indoor, and, and it's probably two questions. How many square feet indoors and how many square feet outdoors? Right. Yeah, we have it broken up into two areas, and it may seem uh, vague, but inside the doors, everywhere inside the doors in this bathroom is a little bit right at 600 square feet. Seems, you know, with the bolted ceilings, it seems a lot bigger. And then you have the garage, which is another 220 square feet approximately, and then you have about 1,200 square feet of outdoor living area. So the footprint of everything is right at, let's say, 2,000 square feet of footprint. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And so it's what really makes it nice and spacious. Well, while I'm talking to Rick here, I've got to just point something out to you guys. This is something I have never seen before. The way that this is designed when this door closes here, it almost uh, it almost gives it. What, what, can you explain what's going on here, Rick? I've never seen anything like this with these lines in the doors. Just a really cool design. Or... Yeah. We, when people walk in uh, to the coach house, we didn't want them to really see the bathroom. Uh, we wanted to, you know, disguise it. So we come up with this idea here to have that whole wall carry through so that you don't even know where the door is. You can study, of course, and see it, but it kind of gives you the, the allude that there's no bathroom there at all. And then when you open it up into that whole spacious room, it, it gives you a whole different feel. But that was kind of the basis behind that wall was see if we could, you know, make the bathroom not look like a bathroom. Yeah, very so, well done, yeah. yeah. I want to see that Pilar model. That may be a little bit more in my budget. This, I can tell this is probably a little bit out of my budget. Now, what about financing? Yeah. Sure, we have a couple options on financing for you. And um, we do a lot of business with Incredible Bank. And so, and we have another bank that we work with. So financing is definitely an opportunity here as well. Andrew, one of the things too, on this particular model on lot 42, we, we can assist with financing with owner financing on this. So that's also an opportunity for somebody if they're looking for that. We've got a lot of stuff to see. So let's keep cruising here. Let's go take a look at the island, the water filtration plant and the Polar model. <music> Another model here that we have that'll be ready in about a little less than 30 days from now. Great looking backdrop. Yeah. And I didn't know this, but did you know that Dean had a few coaches that he did as an artist series? Oh yeah, that's an artist series. Yeah. Yes sir, yes yeah. sir. So so what's going on uh, with this lot here, sir? Yeah, so Andrew, this is our lot number three, probably one of the largest lots. Um, in the in river landings what makes it so neat is you've got 
very limited, but some river view. But you have this preserve over here that we've kept, and this lot is gonna be pretty unique, and I'll tell you why it's unique. It's gonna have a really nice step-in pool, and then you're gonna have a really nice large deck for entertaining, so all this will be enclosed, so this whole thing will be wide open. And then this is a bar that'll be on both sides. So you'll have seats on both sides of that bar, and we'll have a TV over here. But one of the things that makes it so cool is, is that. That's your view looking out, and that'll never be disturbed. Um, this one's in the final stages. We think it's gonna be ready in about three weeks. And so, uh, come on down, take a look at this. Nice, one. and real quick, what's the story about this land over here? Why is that a preserve, and why will that never change? Well, when I bought River Landings, um, we were zoned for 70 lots and I decided to take it and make the lots a little larger so people weren't stacked on top of each other. And then that preserve actually hosted two additional lots, lots one and two. Okay. But when I got over there and I get to walking around, that is so beautiful that I decided not to put those lots in. So I wanted to keep it as natural and as native as we could just for, it, it's kind of a Zen area, if you will. You know, you walk through there and it's so peaceful and there's a little creek that runs through it. It's just really cool. So I couldn't disturb it for the lots. I love it, I love so. it. Rick wasn't kidding. This is kind of like a nice little Zen area right here. Real tropical feel, really cool. What's, what, you were saying there was, a, there was a house back here at one point? Years ago, there was a house back here. Um, and uh, we took the house down. We were gonna try and use it, but we wanted to really let all this mature and grow up. And so the creek actually runs along the backside and along through here, and then eventually goes out to the river. So we have a little patio set up over here for people to wanna come out, maybe read a book and, and be inside here. It stays cool and it's just a cool setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, it really is. If you really take a look at the history of these oaks, to these oaks date back into over a hundred years. Wow. So, I mean, these have seen a lot of history right here. The ceiling, there's a lot of cool features this has. The coach cover is already up yep. and they, they're working away here. They're getting stuff okay. done here. Oh, I can already see like an extra texture on the wall in there. Yeah. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me, buddy. So, yes. So this will have a built-in uh, closet. Here. Oh yeah. And then we've done a shadow box on the wall there that'll bring out a really neat feature that we're doing in here. Nice. And then of course you have a nice peaceful view, good size window, yep. and you always have that to look at. That's a really cool feature. Yeah, it is. A little bit new since the last time I was here. What's going on? Sure. Well, Andrew, this is our first toy barn building and we have nine units in here ranging from a thousand to two thousand square feet uh, 14 foot tall doors 12 foot wide three foot man doors and we put this building in because we a lot of our owners are here for four months five months six months out of the year and so we wanted them to have a place to have stuff and people said, you know, stuff, yeah, motorcycle. Stacker trailers. Stacker trailers, <laughs> boats, extra cars. We found that, you know, there was a need for that. And so when we opened up the first building for sale, um, it completely sold out immediately. And so we have room to add another 36,000 square feet of uh, enclosed storage. So we're really excited about that. Our owners are really excited about it because, again, now they can leave their extra car here, they can leave a motorcycle, they can leave their boat, and they're big enough to even leave their coach if they're not gonna travel for the summer, they can put them inside. And so that's really cool. We have our Pilar model here, um, which is a little bit smaller footprint than the others. And um, it's it's really nice. It has the same basic floor plan, just a slightly smaller. Perfect. Wanna take a look? Let's do it, yes sir. It's pretty unique because it, it gives you all the things of the larger coach houses but a little bit smaller footprint kitchen's just slightly smaller but the bedroom the bathroom are the same and the garage is slightly smaller 
so it's a little more economical and uh, has all the same views. You're still waterfront. You still have the coach cover. Yep, you have you have everything. You can put a pool in on this lot if you want to. Screen this lot in. You, there's just a lot of opportunity here if you want to. Going in. Nice. Yeah, so we designed this one uh, kind of almost like a mother-in-law suite, if you will. So let's say you're traveling with children or you're traveling with family members or they want to come down and stay with you. This is ideally set up for that. Um, you still have the full kitchen. You still have the full bathroom. And you still have the full bedroom. Nice. So Good this dude. footprint's just a little bit smaller than Hemingway. You don't have the big outdoor living area, but you can create it if you want. You can put a pool in like we talked about, a hot tub. And of course you still have the garage. You mentioned you do rent. Uh, this one could be rented as well? Yes, this one is one of our rental uh, units here. So you can rent the Pilar. Um, e I'm trying to think right now, this one's had a lot of good response to it. So I think it's rented in July, a little bit in February and a little bit in March. So if you're interested, you, know, you can go to the website and you can see this one and on the, the website. And the price is probably kind of very seasonally or... Yes, exactly. Yeah, we have a rate on there depending on your length of stay. We have a lot of people that when they rent this, they come and stay for 20 days, 20, 21, 22 days. Okay, perfect. So, yes. I've got a lot of thinking to do, and I've got to keep saving my pennies to try to save up for one of these sites. Sure. But if someone wants to rent one of these sites, mm -hmm. how do they get started? We have a couple ways. You can call the office at 863-612-0104. Or you can go to our website, riverlandings.com, and go up to Vacation Rentals. And you can go on there, see pictures of the lot, you can rent, you can do everything right through that site. And roughly, like, just for starters, like, what's the, what's the least expensive? Like, what's the best deal? What's the, what's the entry level? If someone wants to just come stay, check out the clubhouse, check the place out. Sure. Uh, depending on exactly which lot you have, whether it's a coach cover on it or not, a patio, they range anywhere from 130 to 170 a night. Um, we have a three night minimum. Okay, and then are there discounts if someone stays a little bit longer? Or? Yes, there, and it's on there. It should be on the website. If somebody wants to stay for a month or so, then we look at those rates. Awesome. So, yeah, we, we're an open opportunity. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, Rick, I can't thank you enough. This is yeah. an awesome opportunity for folks to come check out this brand new RV resort, brand new clubhouse. I'm really excited to be Pilar able to be bar. And the Pilar Bar, yep. That's, you, yeah, you got a lot that. going on. Yeah. It, how can folks get a hold of you if someone wants to either buy one of these motor coach lots or rent a site here? Sure. Yeah, just call the office, 863-612-0104. Awesome. And they'll get in touch with me or any of our staff can help you. Awesome. Rick, can't thank you enough. Yeah. Can't thank all of you enough for liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thanks for stopping by, Andrew, and thanks everyone for taking a look. We surely appreciate it.